Hello everyone, Hello. welcome back to our channel. Your hair's like... My hair's just doing its thing. I was debating like putting a, like a bandana it's or something on. It's but... to wear a hairband, but I'm not sure where I put the one I was wearing yesterday. There's a bobble here, but my hair's been cut too short for a bobble now, so it's one of those. Um, we're not feeling very well. You can probably, I think my voice has just started sounding like... Um, Yours sounds a little bit like it, man. I'm like... You... I feel like I sound croaky, because like, it's in my throat when I talk, but I don't know if it comes across just yet. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, so a pox has the descended cold. upon our houses. Houses? We live in the same house. Yeah, but like a pox house. upon your houses yeah. was the. the I know what you were quote. going for, yeah. but. I was just trying to be literary. Literary. Um, what has Mum uh, just sent? I do not oh, know. Something about work. Uh, so last week was my last full week mm -hmm. working. In the office? It, yeah, well, I didn't go in the office every I went in the office once, but I was working all last week and then this week coming up <coughs> I have Monday and then two and a half hours, which was meant to be done on Wednesday But I'm trying to get it swapped to Tuesday because Tuesday's normally my day off mm. So I was like actually it makes more sense for me to do it on the Tuesday Because then right I can take <coughs> me in to drop all my stuff off and have the Wednesday as my day off And then it. it's back to back room then is it you know having a break in between you? Yeah, then it's not like work day off work Hand everything and then I'm done. Because for that, once you get into that first day off, you'd be kind of in the mindset of like, this is it now. Already kind of stopping. I'm like sad, but also looking forward to the possibilities. So. It's it's a new chapter, isn't it? I gave um, my manager uh, her gift. I don't know if you saw last week's video, but <coughs> I did. I stitched her a little something. I'm gonna have to put my hair up because it is bothering me. You want one of the many bubbles we have here? I've got a bubble. Oh, prepare. Um, I, I gave it to her, she really really loved it. I did actually buy some fray glue really last minute um, and glued all the edges with that so that it didn't, I literally, the morning I gave it to her was gluing the, the edges in my office. I was like, she's just gonna have to wait, like she, it's gonna, it's gonna have to dry before she can leave, um, which it did, but that was just to stop the edges from unraveling and coming off and stuff, so. She really liked it. I don't know if I told you that. She really liked it. She was like, oh my gosh, this does take you very long to do. Like, oh, I really love it. And then I showed her what, because we were just talking about stitching stuff anyway, because mm. obviously I told her what my plans are for when I'm not working anymore and stuff. <coughs> and she's like really excited about it for me. She's really, really lovely and supportive and I absolutely love her. Um, but she was like asking what the patterns look like. So I showed her them and um, she really, really loved those patterns. So yeah, I really love them too. I do have a, because I'd started stitching it on 28, no, 56 count, yeah. uh, the spring slash summer one, I can't remember which, I think it's meant to be summer, but I was stitching it for spring, um, and it's mostly done, but yeah, I need, I need to finish that, but I might keep that one for me, because I really like, and actually it would work for Bella, because she's a summer baby. She is? June? I'd say June, summer. summer. I'd say summer. Yeah, ish, I think. I um, my flocks. Cute. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish that. But then I was originally thinking I would do that one for retreat. <coughs> and then I got, I got this like urge to stitch on a 56 count fabric over one. I don't know what inspired me, but decided to do that. And this is the piece. So I'm going to get close so you can see. I'm going to hide my face. There we are. This is my hands like shaking. <laughs> I think it's called Friends and Flowers or Flowers and Friends. And it's a hello from Liz Matthews piece. I was just gonna check, but I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's one of those two, I just can't remember which one. Um it was a Patreon exclusive. Um and I think I actually joined her Patreon because I wanted this. Um but there's been some really cool patterns since then. I've like every pattern that I get like pdf wise i just kind of hoard in my google drive and now i want to like now i'm not working i'm going to put them all onto an external hard drive organize them all and then decide which ones i want to stitch Go so i'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video because we're going to do a stitch with us basically because we didn't have enough to show you um but i'm going to be stitching on my 56 count small for the smalls exchange um i was just thinking you could do it with a virtual stash bus bust then couldn't you could do but i can't get rid of any well if i can get rid of the pdfs i just delete them but it's not like i can oh yeah no, you can't give away 
Um, so rather than be a stash bust, because I'm not actually going to get rid of any, like I'm not going to delete any, um, I'm just going to organise and then decide which one I'm going to stitch on. Mm. So whatever that is called, I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm stitching this over one, one strand over one half cross uh, on 56 count. I'm actually using CXC and I think they look brilliant. I have made a couple of tiny counting mistakes. <coughs> Um, it's not going to affect the piece too much, I don't think, but I can definitely see where the mistake is. But I couldn't tell I was stitching in that area and then I was like, oh man, I've just miscounted, but it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. And actually, everything else seems to be lining up, so I don't know where... Like, I don't know how wrong it is, because... It seems like it shouldn't work, but it is, and I don't I don't know, basically. It'll be fine at the end. You won't be able to tell, but if you look really closely, there is a tiny, tiny little mistake in one place. But it's even tinier because it's on 56 count, so. I have faith in you. Thank you, honey. You're very welcome. Um, what are we going to talk about this week, Rai? Oh, you okay. had a subject. Oh, quickly, before we go on to that. I ordered these from Coffee Craft Fabrics. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a couple of videos ago, I was like, um, oh, this, I was showing you all the fabric that I'd got in a haul, and I, I had a dream last night that I spent £500 on Coffee Craft Fabric stuff, and then didn't have the money to pay for it, and I had to say bye to all this fabric because she was taking it back from me. <laughs> I don't know why I just remembered that. Um, but there was like this, nightmare. Yeah, it was. There was like this chocolatey gingerbread fabric that I bought a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, I want more of that. So I bought it in a 56 count because my new obsession is 56 count and I bought some for Ryan a 16 because you really liked it as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so, and I'm only uh, a little, little stitcher. A little stitcher. No, you're not a little stitcher. I'm a big stitcher actually because I use the big... I use lower number big. I mean, it doesn't make a difference, does it? <coughs> I think it's about personal preference and personally I'm not... I'm not like, oh, you, you stitch on 16 count. Personally I'm just like, I don't like the way it feels, you know? That's a, a lot rougher than this. Sorry, I just had to make sure I got my numbers right then. Yeah, because you know when like, you kind of just throw yourself and you're a bit like, have I done that right? Have I done yeah. that wrong? And I was like, I'm going to be off by like one stitch higher than I should be if I've not counted this correctly. Which um, wouldn't be a problem, but like it yeah. would bother me. No one would. Yeah. The other thing with s the... Smaller counts, so bigger stitches. Does that mm. make sense? So like 14, 16, 18. My stitches are so not neat on them. And expect, like I kind of didn't really think much of it. And then Rice started stitching and I was like, wow, mine are ugly. Like my stitches look best on smaller, like covering a smaller area. So like 28, 32, 40, all those, they look better. Cause Rai's stitches are so neat. And like the, your backs are so, everything's so neat. And mine is just so ugly, so I'd rather you didn't see each individual stitch like you can on the smaller But who sees the backs, really? That's just a you thing. I, my back on the last piece, I was like, oh, oh Hannah, sorry, I didn't cover the back. She was like, no, it looks great. I was like, my back looks great. Thank you. Were, you. you can tell you're just a, a casual <laughs> follower of stitching. I'm wondering if she watches our videos, you know, because she she commented <clears> something <throat> when we were having this conversation about what my plans were. She said something about... Um, so are you going to do this, are you going to do this, or are you going to do, you know, like the more stitch with me kind of things, and I was like, Excuse me? Do you know? Have you watched them? Because the last one I did, I was stitching on your piece. Um, yes. So I don't know whether she, she watched that, but if you are watching, hi. Um, yeah, Rai wants to talk this video about something exciting that happened on holiday. What? <clears throat> I just thought we haven't really spoken about it. We haven't. And a lot of people commented on it at the time, so Jess. What happened to you on the first day of the holiday? Can I give a bit of background on this? If you like to. So, me and Rai got engaged five years ago. It was a little while back. We've been married two years this year. Yeah, we got we got wow. engaged like a while ago. Um, and Rai used a ring that used to be my mum's engagement ring. Mm. Um, and it was really beautiful. It was like, uh, it had three. Yeah. Like stones in it, three diamonds. And then it was like gold and there was like a matching band and everything. But obviously it wasn't intended for my finger. So as I have put weight on since that happened, it didn't fit me anymore. Which it did fit me at the time though, which was good. 
but as I've put weight on, it didn't fit me anymore, basically. It fit right up until just after the wedding, mm. and then that was kind of it. So I've kind of not had an engagement ring for that long, or a wedding ring, because they don't fit me anymore. Maybe if I lose weight at some point, they will again, but not for right now. Anyway, my dream has always been to get engaged at Disney, but at the time we got engaged, we weren't planning any Disney trips. Yeah, we didn't even know at that point, did we? We did not. We had like no plans. And then um, lockdown happened, so then we couldn't go. And then, you know, all the things that have happened have happened. So basically, lockdown in the way of the, of the trip, didn't yes. it? Yes. Um, and we've been a couple of times, but, you know, financially we haven't been in a place to buy a different engagement ring or anything. Anyway, where I bought an engagement ring like months ago, oh, yeah. secretly. I So... So what really surprised Jess was how I, long you'd kept it. I'd had the ring longer than I'd had my car as well. Yeah, and Ray got a new car like halfway through last year. Yeah. So I was like, "What?" He, like when when he said about it, I was like, "No way, you've had it that long." Anyway, basically, first day we walk into the park, and I have like been the most annoying person about like any time an engagement comes up, an engagement in Disney video comes up, I'm like. Oh, one. Like, ugh. even though we're already married, like it, it literally doesn't matter. But I'm always like, oh, that like that's that's so lovely. That, like you know, whatever. And so, then you show me, and you're like, oh, look at this, and I'm like, shh. Yeah, Bryce just like just, he was like getting annoyed with me, and I was just like, why is he being so funny? I'm just showing him videos. I wasn't getting annoyed. No, that but makes it, it, sound it wasn't bad. like something you wanted to talk about. Yeah, because I was like, because I I don't know where to start on this. I'm just moving around. It's like, a general rule, I'm terrible at keeping surprises secret. So am I. I'm the worst. Like, Jess gets Christmas presents early all the time. She gets birthday presents all the time. early. Like, well, you do, really. I'm using big scissors today because I don't have any, um, I mean, it doesn't matter. No, either way, there's still some there. Sorry. So every time Jess was like, oh, look at this, I'm like, I'm going to tell her so I have to change the subject. <laughs> so. I didn't yeah. realise, though. Yeah, you just thought I was being, like. I thought you were just, like. Irritated. Okay. Don't talk to me about that. Like, that's what I thought, but... Thankfully, though, it worked, and I never gave up the ruse. Mm -mm. And then, first day in Disney, <laughs> bearing in mind, like, this man has packed his bags next to me. Like, we've done everything at the same time, and I didn't see you have any kind of ring. I had no idea. I can't have been in the house when it was delivered, or if I was. No, you weren't. Yeah, like, I had absolutely no clue. Um... So first day, my mum was like, oh, where, like before we even got into the park, she was like, where's a really good, like, can you take pictures in front of the castle? Because we don't really, like, we you do the photo pass photographers, but we've never done one in front mm. of the castle. So I was like, yeah, there's like six, like, you, they go all the way down Main Street, like, whatever. And we were kind of like, I was like, why is she asking me this? Because she, she knows, for one, and for two, we've never done it, we've never been interested. So I thought she, oh, I thought she wanted to. Yeah. So I was like okay whatever and then on the park it, on the park in the park first day we always do a uh, crystal palace breakfast so we we're walking down towards that and i thought we were just heading straight to that and i was like right okay let's just power walk in we'll see the castle whatever and then go like to the left crystal palace wait for our reservation people. wait for our reservation also can i just say before we got into the park you have to go through like security and whatnot <laughs> and x-ray and I found out that I always get pulled for an extra scan and my bag search because I take a portable uh, battery with me yeah. to, to charge the phone throughout the day. So I got pulled for that. And I had like, the guy was like, empty your pockets, empty your bags, we need to do a full like, check your items. And I was, Jess was yeah. stood off to the side, so I was like, she's going to say, I'm going to have to take the ring box out and she's going to say. But I didn't. Thankfully. Um, Imagine if we got all that way and the cat would gave it up. I know. But like, I, I didn't see it then. And then... We went into the park, was like going down and everything, and mum was like, oh, should we get a picture taken in front of the castle? And I was kind of like, okay. So I took a picture of her, like there's a video of me. When I do the Disney vlog, you'll see there's a video of me filming mum and Bella in front mm. of the castle, because I thought that's what she wanted. And she was like, no, come on, like, let's go, like, let's go to this guy, the wait's not very long. And I was like, okay, whatever. And while we were in line, someone got engaged, like two photographers down, and you could yeah. hear everyone go like, woo! And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Um, and actually, I've got a video of our photographer by accident. He's like in the background of one, one of the, the videos, videos I've taken. Um, and we get to the front and whatever. And mum goes, oh no, you two go first. And I was like, that's 
weird suspicious i thought she wanted a picture but whatever so we get up there and where i was stood like this his hand in his pocket, you can't see, he had his hand in his pocket Hold on like, to that ring for day alike. Come on, like get your hand out your pocket, I want this to look nice And then he proposed again I banged down on one knee And I said, will you marry me? And what was Jess's romance <laughs> loving filled response? Like you could see the care and love in her eyes, the joy, her face lit up What did you say to my question Jess? You're so silly Yep <laughs> Because I was like Oh my god, like, I've been going on about this for ages. And, and it has been planned for happen. ages. <laughs> and I didn't think it would happen. And I just remember being like, oh, I must have been so annoying to you. <laughs> well, I was like, well, she hasn't said yes. I still don't think you've said yes. Yeah, I did because then he was still down. And I was going like, come on, come on, like stand yeah, up. Said yes. And he was going, well, are you going to say yes? And I went, yeah, come on, like, come the, on. In, in my defence as well, there were people watching us. Imagine there the was. below if you, like, just not replied. And the people watching us were, like, the biggest cheerleaders ever. They, they like, did a big clap and everything when it happened. They were, like, cheering and whatever. And then the photographer was absolutely amazing. And he was, like... And apparently the photographer knew, which yeah. I didn't realise. I missed that. I think I'm a really observant person. Your mum told me, no then afterwards he said to me, you went a lot sooner than I expect. And I went, well, I had to because she was telling us to get my hand out my pocket. Yeah. Um... So and in that he, moment, it just, I, I can't just remove my hand. I was like, I just have to propose now. That, that's what, that's all it is. He was like, the photographer was going, oh yes, let's see the ring. Let's get pictures together. Oh, oh. And we were like, like, he was like, oh, you know, stand with your back to it. And every single time, like we had a kiss, everyone cheered. Like, every two seconds, we had another round of people cheering. And it was like the loveliest thing ever because like it was just lovely everyone was just really happy i was really happy because i was like oh my god like this is exactly what i wanted always you know what really absolutely uh threw through me though what? a few days before we went i thought you'd like cotton on or something before we went to disney and jess was like you know i mentioned before about getting like engaged at disney i don't think i'd want to be the center of attention with that many people there and i was like oh my goodness if i was like oh no everything's in things are in motion please don't say that yeah Nearly ruined my own surprise. No, I think it was really lovely. Um, so, yeah, we had that. And I didn't, I've not really spoke to anyone about it since we got back. Because I feel like it's one of the things where people will react and be like, well, you were already married. But it's, like, we didn't have a big engagement. We didn't. Yeah, but it was more for us than, any other, than anyone else. Yeah. It was nice to have that like now mm. i'm excited i like the engagement we had before but this one was like everything i've ever wanted perfect had no idea and it was lovely so oh yeah i really loved it that um, was kept secret for a while yeah keep secrets from me i was debating doing that thing you know on tiktok where like they plan to engage so they, they keep showing the they ring. the ring yeah bah. and the person doesn't see it and the person's at right in front of i would have caught you oh yeah because there's like no subtlety is there well, clearly you better keep in secrets than I thought. I've started to stitch this on a really bad place for this stitch with me because I can't, the lighting's not very good where I am and I can't see well enough to do this and talk. Yeah, we could really do with some better lighting, couldn't we? Come on, electrician, get us better lighting. We have to get the room sorted first. Yeah, we do. We're going to repaint and everything, aren't we? <coughs> we'll, we'll redecorate more. Yeah. And I want a shelf up behind us. So that I can display stitching behind us while we stitch. Mm. Um, I'm like, where do I stitch next on this? It's literally all trees until I get down to the bottom. <clears throat> and I'm not counting it enough for that. You could stitch that. I could do, but oh, I'll just get through the, the big stuff first. Oh, I don't. And like I said, it just saves me like having to... Yeah. Have an account. <clears throat> I can't do that. I like have to like dip around different places. Also, by the way, I'm gonna show you my shoe that I have on. Put my little flap down. It's a Disney croc. Your, your little flap. It's a um <coughs> Halloween? Halloween one. There's a bit of flap. Don't say is that the word we were going for then? It's a Halloween Disney croc. I got these in the outlets. They were like 
really cheap. Can't yeah. think of how much they were, but they were like really cheap. Twenty dollars down from like sixty, seventy. That's how much my trousers were. Yeah. Because I got some skeleton dance trousers, which may or may not still fit when we next go. Wow. We'll have to check. But yeah, they were twenty dollars as well. They're a size three, <coughs> but they fit all right. I still think the best bargain of that entire like outlet trip was the vans we both got. Oh yeah, right. So we got these vans. They're like oh, desert coffee. vans. Um, mine are upstairs. Mine are also upstairs. And they were meant to be like thirty dollars each. So I said to her, I like, oh, like I'll get them. Don't worry. We'll just put them through on my card. Whatever. You my got treat. them for me like a little birthday present, yeah. didn't you? Um, same with the skeleton trousers, but actually you paid me back for those. I paid you back for the trousers. You didn't need to though. But um, <coughs> the shoes, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just get them. Got up to the till, they were like $40 for both of yeah, them. Yeah, all in. And I was like, oh my goodness, steal. It was amazing. It was great. So I wasn't going to argue when he when he told us how much they were. I, I think like, this okay. holiday we had some incredible bargains. We did. Go on. I don't know what just happened. The camera just kind of like shut off. <laughs> Yeah, so we don't know how much footage we have and how much we don't have. That did end just before it ended. Jess was talking about a croc. Yeah, so I can't remember what we were talking about. Oh, that. you got a minion villain blast t shirt and yeah. we became annual pass holders. Yeah, that was about it. It was really good. I mean, oh, and we've only just started going through some of the stuff. Oh, yeah, so we'd, we'd like had everything in a bag and we went through it the other day. I got some cool stuff while we were there that I had forgotten about. Me too. Oh, no. The thing is, I think when you're back from a big holiday, you have to just... Decompress. See, yeah. the thing with Disney is that I feel I'm too sad when I come back. I'm like, I don't want to think about it because it, it's I'm sad. Which is a real shame because then we stop watching like the YouTube videos all about it. But we're getting excited and again, aren't we now? I've caused like a giant <coughs> mat in the back of my work and I don't know why. I don't know how that happened. We're kind of getting back into like the holiday swing now, aren't we? Yeah, because we've got another one coming up. I think that makes it a bit easier. I'm like hyped. Um, what? Oh, I got really into Vera Bradley while we were over there. So, the last, the, not the last time we went, the time before, I'd seen someone with one of the backpacks and I was like looking at their bag and I was like, that's so cool. Mm. And then I was like, there's Disney characters on there. That's even cooler because it's like patterns with hidden Disney characters. Can you grab mine so I can, after yeah, you've done that? Um, so I was like, I must get one of these this time. And this time <laughs> we went and we, um, I kind of had an idea of what I was getting, what I wasn't getting. And I'd budgeted for certain things that I didn't end up actually getting. getting. Um, I'd say that's better than what you were thinking of getting in there. Yeah. So I got myself this and it's like a cool pattern and whatever, but it's got... Toy Story characters on it and then it's got like a little this is a magnetic bit and then a zippy <coughs> bit and I just love it so I got that and then from there mm. I ended up getting a purse like a giant zippy purse that's got loads of compartments I'll say but the it purse had a lot for can card. double as a handbag as well can't yeah, it? Like it a can. little, cause it's got that strap um, but it had a lot of <coughs> card um, bits in which was really good because I've got like my ID my I've got two bank cards um, and my usually, Nexa card, my club card, like I've got you give me stuff cards. to carry around, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so. so it was nice to have my own one to like have, and that fit in there well. And then I ended up going to the outlets and got two more bags. <laughs> like they're like no, three more bags. Three more bags. I got a backpack and two like travel carry-on bag type things. Yeah, you did well that day, didn't you? I loved Vera Bradley, and we went back into the shop on the last day, and I was like this close to, buying to getting one. another one, and I didn't. Even though I loved it, I was like, I I cannot justify spending this much money on a bag again. So I didn't end up getting it. And I'm like sad, but also excited because next time we go, I might be able to get a different pattern. Oh, yeah, I think they change them out quite regularly. I think that's what the lady was saying. Yeah, there was one of the patterns that you quite liked was retiring that soon was because they're bringing out a new range. Yeah. Not a new range, but like a new style. A new, um, <coughs> yeah. I think they're all different. So... I got um, a Mickey, Minnie and Pluto one pattern on my purse and it's grey and then there was that Toy Story one when we went and then there was a black with like the like Mickey head sewn into into mm. it like quilting and then there was um, there was some Mandalorian stuff there in the Disney Spring shop yeah there was ones that had all like British characters on so like Winnie the Pooh, Alice in Wonderland like 
I didn't like those for whatever reason. I was just like, mm. I, if it was just Winnie the Pearl, I would have got it. But I'm not really bothered about Alice in Wonderland. Well, not even that, because I don't mind, but it's not one, like Toy Story, I love Toy to, Story, and so does Bella, that, that was like one of Bella's first favourite films, so like, it just reminds me of her. Um, but yeah, I, I, the others don't have like characters on, so I might get into the character bag next time we go, because they're just so cute, I'm going to have to save money to get that now. Hmm. I didn't go quite as well with the bags, and I bought one from Uniqlo. Oh right, yeah, but you've used that so much. <clears throat> Yeah, that's like my little handbag basically, isn't it? Yeah. It's got all the stuff like that a nano would carry in. It's deceptively large. Like it seems small, but it, mm. it fits a lot in. Um, we're going back for Halloween. Well, not actual Halloween, because that would be really busy. But I'm really excited Just slightly for that. before. Oh. I don't like this tablet sometimes. Oh my. Right. Now stop doing things, please. Oh, I was messaging someone about retreat earlier and they were telling me what they were taking. And it made me go, like, <coughs> oh, I need to evaluate what I'm taking because they said, like, I'm not going to take a 28 count over one. Oh, we just, like, the lighting just. Why do I look so pale? What's happened there? I think there? it's because it's getting brighter over there. <laughs> Um, but they were like, oh, I'm not going to take a 28 count over one project because I won't be able to focus um, on it. And I was like, that's a good point. So I'm going to have to pick a small project that I can take as just like a, you know, a project that I don't need to focus on as intensely. Mm. Oh, did I talk about the Oscars picks uh, last week? I'm not sure. So Gecko Rouge have introduced this new thing called Oscars picks. Um, and I don't think we're, I don't know if we're allowed to talk, to show them. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, they send out an email and the email has links into an Etsy store. And the email has the pictures of the patterns that you can buy that month. And they're all PDF patterns only. So it's not a kit. It's not like it's going to cost you like £150 for each one. Like they're £15 and you get the PDF. So you kit it up yourself, which I have done in CXC. So it cost me... I was expecting, so if I'd kitted it up in DMC, it would have cost me like £93 and it's cost me 12 So, anyway, uh, I bought the, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the artist, they released three artists and one of them is an artist I particularly like, if you know you know, I feel like it's quite obvious who it is when I talk about it. Mm. Um, and I literally immediately saw it and was like, yeah, I'm getting it. But I did do something a little bit sneaky before. So I was just like, wait, because we knew Oscars picks were coming out. And I was just on Etsy looking. Um, and it showed you the three Oscars picks things. And they didn't have a picture or anything. But they have like a code in. And I think this was talked about on the Facebook group. So I'm not doing anything I shouldn't have. But there was a code that they use. So when they classify and chart on the website, they use like, a code that kind of correlates with the artist if that makes sense um, and there was three different ones so I kind of guessed who the artists were gonna be based on the code so I kind of was gearing up for like right well I'm gonna want this one because it's by this artist and I just love every piece of work that's come out of that artist so I knew that there was definitely one that I wanted and when the email came out and we got to see the, the one it confirmed that it was that artist and I was like I'm getting that one immediately clicked the link took me through to Etsy bought the piece and I have it and I'm really excited. I love it to pieces. It's actually really similar to another one that I was gonna get, but it's missing like, so it's not, it's not like a smaller version of one of the other charts. It's just like a different one along the same lines, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I went for that one and I'm really excited about it. So I have kitted it up with CXC from Talking Dog Stitcher, <coughs> Rachel, and she is very kindly going to be giving me the threads at retreat. Like I've ordered them and I'm getting them delivered at retreat. So it's gonna be like, ooh, new retreat start. So I need to either, I, I, I'd like opinions on this cause I was gonna stitch it on over one on like a 40 count. Like, so it's small and teeny tiny and whatever. Because after working on this, I've just really enjoyed it and I really like the coverage. Obviously this is 56 count, so it's a bit different, but I was thinking, oh, I'll just go for like a 40 count or whatever. But actually, after stitching on this 
now maybe i don't want to do that for a full coverage um so i need to order some oh no actually i will have some 32 count fabric in my stash won't i I from the so. from the world map piece <coughs> that I never went through with, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kit that up and I'm gonna start that retreat. So I will have a retreat new start for one of the brand new Gecko Rouge Oscars pick pieces. And when those pieces are released, I think they're released for like a month, not a month, a week. Um, and I think they might be releasing a couple of months, like one email a month with a couple of charts on yeah. i don't know this is from what i've gathered um but i was just really excited about it i think it's a really great way for people to get gecko rouge pieces without having to pay for their kits if that makes sense because i know a lot of people all want gecko rouge to do pdf, PDF only and i get why they don't but also like this is a great way of being able to support Gecko Rouge and buy a Gecko Rouge piece without having to spend all that money on getting a kit. <coughs> kind of satisfies it a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. For me, like, especially because last week I was talking about how there was a couple of Kate Brazier pieces that I wanted and they were in my basket and one of them was similar to a piece that was released. Was released. <laughs> so I was really excited. You might get some in the future, might you? I might do, yeah. It depends um, I don't think what you, they release. Yeah, I don't think... Ooh, do you reckon they would do some like autumn -y ones in like October? Possibly. I don't know. Would be the best time for an autumn -y one, wouldn't it? I think so. I'm gonna finish this little piece of thread because I am having a hard time stitching with it right now. So I'm just gonna finish it up and start stitching somewhere else that's a bit easier. A bit more manageable. Yep because i've somehow made a giant knot and then a mat in the back of my piece which is not good i get it and it doesn't look very neat in the window now the first one does the second one doesn't what else you've started reading a new book series <laughs> which has been kind of fun well, kind of you have started i started so i've seen a few people <coughs> on youtube talking about a book series which i then bought and then bought a again so i bought one on kindle and then i was like no i want to annotate annotate these so then i bought them on um like a physical copy yeah. and then i got libby and decided i wanted to read the percy jackson series because i really liked them when i was a kid so i started reading the first one today <laughs> so you just started sort of diving straight into reading haven't you mm -hmm. the only thing that annoys me is i feel like it's going to take time away from my stitching so I really, 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 really want to get into audiobooks so I can listen while I stitch. But I've sampled a couple and I just think they sound like AI reading to me. Even though it's a real person, you know, that one that you played me really sounded like it to me. Oh, I played you the Godfather and that's narrated by Joe Mantegna. So depending on where you know I'm from, Fat Tony or David Rossi. And I was just listening the entire time and I was like, this is just Fat Tony. But to me, it just sounds really AI, and I don't know why, because it's not, is it? No. I don't know. It just is... I think it was recorded before AI was really hit the stride. Yeah. And, like, I've sampled a couple on Spotify, because we have Spotify Premium. And it's like... I don't know, they just sound weird to me. It doesn't sound like a real person, so it's a bit hard for me to get into them. But maybe I just need to put one on, and then just start stitching, and maybe then I'd really like it, you know? Mm. Ooh. What I didn't like was uh, listening to, like if it's by a famous actor and it's someone you know from a certain thing. Because then it seems like that character's reading to you. Yeah, and The Godfather has some scenes in that I'm like, why is Fat Tony saying this to me? <laughs> and I'll go no further than that. I'm looking forward to having some new starts. I know I'm like having new starts all the time. I've had no restraint with new starts recently, but I feel like I'm getting some good finishes in this year. I say having had one finish, um, but How this many is going to be a finish. finishes did you have this time last year then? Probably none. There we are then. Um, this is going to be a finish, <coughs> definitely, before two weeks, like it has to be because it's my retreat swap. Um, then I want to finish a Gecko Rouge this year at least one. Um, I was saying to Ryan, what I want to do when I'm not working is go through all of my stuff, 
end yes i want to have a clear out and you know we're going to do some giveaways based on that and stuff but what i'm excited to do is start kind of making a plan for like the rest of the year and say well i want to hit 10 percent on this by the end of the year so this is how many i need to do a month and this is how many i need to do a day to hit that and then work out kind of a stitching schedule because mm. i think at the minute because i'm so like oh, is blase the right word like i'm like oh well it'll get done when it gets done and whatever i think is that blase fair i don't know so it's kind of a blase fair is laid back isn't it so is it is it like that we i don't know it? yeah probably um i think that's why i'm not getting so much progress in on some stuff and then other things i'm restarting like six times mm. so i think having a proper plan is going to make it easier for me to get progress in on stuff um <coughs> yeah, i'm looking forward to it the stitching plan of action so to speak yeah 70 stitches today so far i've done 24. Yeah, how but... often is it that you <coughs> stitch more than me yeah but you were saying you were having a bit of like a crisis yeah yeah it's a lot easier now i was stitching in the windows which were already like I'm basically filling in a blank space and it's a lot tighter and a lot harder. <coughs> Whereas stitching just like out in the open <laughs> is what I would call it is easier for me on 56 count. I'm literally stitching out in the open because I'm doing woods. Oh nice. I'm really excited for a treat. It's like two weeks away. One, mm. two, three, four, one. Ah. Oh no. No, I thought I'd made a mistake, but I have not. Plus, it's like a break where you actually get some good stitching done. Not yeah. like when we go on holiday and it's like. Distractions everywhere. We're, we're too busy to do some stuff. And then when you get back, you're just like, oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I like do not stitch when we go on Disney holidays. Like, very rarely will I be enough <coughs> time. Something we did on Disney, our Disney holiday this time, that we didn't do before is we just went and visited some of the hotels. And like, I know, we were saying the other day, if someone told me I went to Disney and all I did was look at hotels, we would be like, what are you doing? Clearly the fun is in the park. But actually it will be my, it was my fifth time going to Disney this time. Mm. Next time will be my sixth. And it was Rise third time, so next time will be his fourth. And I feel like we've done most of the rides, if not all of the rides that we want to do. Um, and you're just doing the rides again and whatever. And it's, it is really, really fun. Like, don't get me wrong, I love doing the Disney rides. But there's other things at the hotels that you've not done before. Like it's nice to do some of the slower things as well. Yeah. Right? We'd never visited... Well, that's not entirely true. I'd been to the boardwalk at Disney to go um for breakfast one time but that was like it we'd never really walked around the boardwalk hadn't gone to any of the hotels or anything we did that this time and it was so lovely like we got some nice food we got to see some places we hadn't seen bella got to sit in loads of chairs like i don't know why she was upset she, yeah, was, she like, was obsessed with i want a picture in every chair so we did that um i had it, a really nice cannoli in the water we did. it was just so Marvin, nice I like that. And like considering <coughs> those places are so expensive and it's like a dream to stay there maybe if we are both very successful we will one day but we can't afford that right now so mm. it was nice to kind of like just see what it's like and see what it's about because i always think the best disney hotels are the cheaper ones because they're the most disney themed like how would you explain it? They've got like the giant Disney statues and Disney in all the rooms and everything, whereas like, like Grand big, Floridian. Big cartoon characters and like, Grand Floridian just looks like a mansion, doesn't it? But <coughs> I probably would have felt the same way about the other ones that we visited. And yes, it might not feel as like Disney esque, like Disney character, but it's kind of the same but in a different way. Mm. Like it feels like, oh, I'm at Disney and it's really fancy and, you know, there's still Disney vibes, even if it's not as Disney y. Does that make sense? I feel like I, I didn't belong when I went through my like cut off t-shirt and my my like frayed jorts. I was <laughs> While like, everyone was like dressed really fancy. Yeah, I was like, I, I stand out like a sore thumb here. It was nice though. It was nice. I would go again. If if we could stay there, I would. But yeah. I'd have to get like a wardrobe that was just full of chino shorts and like 
nice fresh button downs. So I've got a question for you, Rye. You may ask. Is April too late in the year to do a stitching plans video? I wouldn't have thought so. But you're not even halfway through the year there. No, that's true. <coughs> Oh, I we're think... going to have to do a mid-year whip parade as well. Oh, goodness, we're going to have to dig everything out. That's not for another couple of months, though. So I can steal myself. You've got some time. In preparation. Yeah. Oh, I just love, I love stitching. I'm excited to just be, like, immersed in stitching now. When I say that, I am still going to do other things. Like, obviously, we'll have bells and everything. But, I mean, like... But when on an evening I might be like, oh, I've got this to do at work tomorrow and that to do at work tomorrow. I won't really have that now. Reeling, won't yeah. <clears throat> I've got too much choice. This is my problem with these kind of things. I get too much choice of where to stitch and then I don't stitch because I've got too much choice. Which isn't exactly a bad problem I have. No, I know, but it's a frustrating problem to be involved in because mm. then I'm like, I feel like I don't get anything done. You've got like decision paralysis. Yeah. It's been quite exciting as well as I've like more and more been getting work lately, haven't I? Yeah. It's kind of just started a snowball. So if anyone needs an electrician and you're in the UK, this is your guy. Well, within reason. I can only travel so far. Well, yeah, fair. Oh, I'm really excited. I had an idea the other night in bed for um, a chart that I wanted to do and Rai was kind of like, were you watching something or were you trying to go to sleep? I can't remember. And I was just like, oh, I don't know how I would pull this off, like the finishing side of it. I know how I would design the chart and everything, but it's like the finishing of it. And he was like, I don't know, what about this? And I was like, yeah, but that wouldn't work because of this. And I was like bothering you with it, wasn't I? Oh yeah, I remember now. I was uh, trying to go to sleep. Yeah, sorry about that. That's fine. That's why I was a bit out of it with my answers. So I've got some ideas for stuff, but I want to like make them look good when they're finished. And I'm trying to think of different ways that I can do that. What are you working on? Guardian of the Woods still. Which part though? <clears throat> uh, tree branch. Nice. I've mixed, mixed it up a bit though, and I've gone onto the right hand side of the chart no instead of the left. I know. Who am I? A bloomin' renegade. That's who I am. I'm stitching a butterfly right now. Type of butterfly? Is it a happy butterfly? Don't know. Did it used to be a hungry caterpillar? Probably. <coughs> How many I... stitches have you done? At the minute, I've done 70, but I'm still marking some. Gosh, I've literally done, like, none this whole time. So, let me do a quick... 90 at the minute and then I'm going to finish off this branch because I've still got the thread to do it which is always a, a happy little moment isn't it? when you've got enough thread to finish yeah <coughs> I'm um looking forward to so when I'm not working anymore my first plan is I'm going to just get all the ideas that are in my head out of my head and onto paper and then I'm going to start like a kind of plan to task and one of those is all of the different videos that I want to try doing. Mm. You're going to have to get like a really intense diary, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I was thinking I wanted a new camera, but that they're like expensive. Cameras are expensive. I also don't really know what I'm looking for in cameras. I feel like I'm just not very good camera-wise. It's because I'm not the person to ask because I just think, how cool does the camera look? Okay. Sold. That's my basis. I am looking forward to doing some different content because I really like when we sit down and talk about our stitching. I also really like when we sit down and do Stitch With Us mm. videos. I'm also excited to just try something a bit different. And if I if I try it and it doesn't work out, well then I won't do it again. But I'm looking forward to it. One. Hang on. One, two, three, two, one. in the right place. Yeah, I was just doing the same thing, making sure it lined up properly. Bang. Down. 
because this has got like rows of two where it's climbing slightly so I'm like I want to be thrown off by my own count you know yeah there we go there's mine let me just pull I didn't get very much done I only did 63 stitches needle through and then I'll go out of that and Ooh. then this is mine more of an updated sort of tree on either side it's getting longer getting closer to the bottom of the the trees. Have you decided what you want to take to retreat yet? And if you want to kit up a new project, <coughs> um, Rachel asked if we could send her anything, like send her the, what, the order form before the end of the month. I've seen some stuff, so I'll get that sorted after this. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people um, replied with Star Wars, the uh, ones that I wanted. Oh so yeah, that was really great. Really Thank helpful. you. So I'm going to go through some of them and then pick maybe one or two. Just, how many? Because the last time what I did was I took just one piece and I got a lot of progress on it, but I was getting like... Uh, stitching fatigue. Yeah. I, t I wouldn't say... St it was not stitching fatigue, it was more fatigue that... Bod. It was just the same thing. Bod. Yeah. Like, I could have stitched for the whole time. I just needed something that was like a I little bit different. I can. I mean, I, I somehow managed it last time. Yeah, Ryan, somehow. like, really gets a lot of stitching done at retreat. <clears throat> He's like the opposite of like most people I think. I think mm. a lot of people go and they like get so distracted me with buying stuff. Oh don't get me wrong, people. I do buy stuff. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping I don't spend too much money. Um yeah. I, I yeah, I I'm just hoping that it's Why don't you do like a little cash budget and just if you can stick to paying cash for things. I have to take cash out, but yeah. I think I need to definitely like limit it because I feel like in the last few years I'm more like oh well you know it is what it is I'll get what I want now because it's it's exciting when you see it in person isn't it? I did yeah. But I bought things that I'm like I wouldn't have ever thought about having but because of that I've got like you don't see, excellent little Yeah you don't up. like I don't know how to look up things like this well I know how to look up things like this but like mm. the other things this person was selling it's like I don't know what I would look up to find those but when you see them in person you're like well obviously I need I six. I have to buy it. Sorry, I just wanted to get this fabric out because look. Oh my god, it's really long. I think this is longer than 27 inches. That's pretty big, isn't That's it? That's huge. That measure. is longer than 27 inches. <coughs> isn't it? Yeah, got a tape measure down here somewhere. We can check it against that if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's massive. That's, that's bigger big. than normal. Remove a bit so you can get full scope. I think it. that's bigger than normal. I might do some Christmas pieces on this. I have so an idea for something I want to do with Christmas. Right, basically the other day I was like, I really want to buy like a whole bolt of forty count even weave, which I learned. I think it's called Vadal. I think maybe it's not that. Maybe it was something else. Um. Anyway, I, I was like, I want to buy a whole bolt of that, and then that like tea coffee dye it, mm. and then stitch a load of Christmas ornaments on it. And then everything matches. Yeah. Because at the minute I've got like loads and loads of different colours of fabric rather than like one lot of the same, if that makes sense. So, but I really like this colour. This is a nice colour. It's a very nice colour. Do you know what? At retreat, if my fabulous houses get here in time, I want to take those. I think they were meant to be posted out before the 20th, but I've not had mine yet. But it's only the 24th, so I'm not like rushing or anything. Yeah. Um, I'm just really excited to see them because I've not seen them in person yet. I'm still waiting on a thread from 123 Stitch for that. Yeah. I ordered it and the other ones arrived the day we flew to America. Mm. The same order. Yeah. And these ones haven't even shipped yet. Strange. It's annoying. But it is what it is. I'm, I'm sure excited. it'll turn up. Well, what should I stitch on this? Gingerbread house. Ginger I was thinking that. It's mm. very Christmassy, it like is, yeah. warm colour, I think. Although it's not that warm. Is it warm tone or cool tone? I was going to say warm, it's, but I think it's, it's warm, cooler. Warm it's a cooler brown. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look the right colour on camera. Mm. It never does, though, does it? Mm -mm. Any ideas for what I can stitch on this piece? Let me know. Maybe something autumn maybe something Christmassy. I'm excited. And yeah, I think we're going to call it here. Yeah. I've stitched 63 stitches. I've stitched 96. The ones in the window don't look very good, but the ones outside of the window do. That's a smaller area to cover, isn't it? It's more mm -hmm. finicky. Yeah. I don't think I could do a full coverage on 56 count, but... I can't imagine. I was thinking about trying it, but 
I would tell you if you did try that. But. It might be a little experiment to do in the summertime or something, but not for right now. Yeah. yeah. Let us know what you're working on this week. Um, next week... You'd be packing for a treat, won't you? I'll be packing for a treat, although it may be the sorting my stitching out so that I know what I've got and what I'm taking to retreat and everything. Mm. So next week might be a bit of a different video, but I'm excited. What okay. about you? I think... Uh, You're going to have to go through your stuff for a retreat. I think I'm going to have to get stuff in for a retreat and then go from there. Mm -hmm. Like I say, I'll do some... Uh, get some little, 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 little... I can't even talk now. I get some bits in to take to a retreat and then... <clears throat> I get some. I get the stuff to kit it up because mm -hmm. I have quite a few... Uh, fabrics that I bought from last retreat that... And you've got that brown one now? Yeah, that I might be able to win. Maybe was... one of the Star Wars ones in that. It's up to you. Because I saw one of the posters and it was like... You won't be able to see the posters and the... with that though. No, I was going to say if you get the... If I got the Cloud City one, that kind of matched the colour of the actual... Threads. Yeah, so you would use it instead of... Stitching. Yeah. Yeah. So for some of the darker patches, it would look quite good for it. I I'm really think. sorry if we've been like blown out colour-wise, because... Yeah, it's all the lights coming in from over there, because when I opened the curtains this morning, it was quite dark. We normally film on an evening, mm. and we're filming at like midday, so look, this really looks early, fine colour-wise, but when I sit back here... Oh, it's not going to do it now. Yeah. Just now, I look just like a ball of light, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sorry if that's been how it is for the video. Hopefully not, but Hopefully we'll see. Not. Here's my little um, art collection in my Festival of the Arts cup. I need to add some more to that that I've got upstairs. I was going to say, I saw some the other day as well over there. There's some more to go in. Do you want the arts from mine? It's up to you. you can Yours are tiny! Are oh, you? Yeah. Look at Bryce's little arts. Oh, there's a long one. They're so cute. I'll put them in there. Right! Oh, we'll right. see you. There you go. From me oh, to you. I saw it, um, a Chatelaine piece earlier that I really, really liked, so I might have to start a Chatelaine. There's a possibility of that, isn't there? Well, I just thought it, I think it was like a piece of a Chatelaine, and I was like, that is gorgeous. Um, Chatelaine shared it on their story, so I was like, oh, I might have to get that. A hint of Chatelaine. We'll see. We will see, because they're like intricate as heck. Yeah, that's like a lot of uh, fiddly bits, isn't it? And I'm, lots of I'm like. Different threads and different beads and all this stuff. Maybe at some point, but not mm. right now. But I really like them. Yeah. Definitely an idea for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, I think we've covered just about everything. If you watch to the end, comment chocolate because this chocolate. fabric reminds me of chocolate. Mm. And um, let me know what you'd stitch on this because I'm gonna have a think. And I've got plenty of it to be working on. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a big piece, it isn't, is, it? isn't it? Yeah. It's massive. Oh, and yeah. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye!